Grand finals are upon us here. Navi versus Team Empire battle. He took Shockwave. Uh-oh. So he's in trouble. Flux, line. Rubik has a lift. Is that even necessary though? The battery is all doing so much. And that is the first blood. As you pointed out, not getting the skewer really costing him in the end there. Been called out really, and as they say this, they're going for another one. Hookshot wow. lands on a fiver. Limps back immediately. Got the cogs up though. And they're gonna follow this up time now. Like, actually, Static Storm's gonna zone them out. He will die in the end, but the more's coming now for Navi. In fact, the RP solo on a faceless boy. They really want that kill and they get the kill. Danny assisting. And now FN trying to TP away, but the skewer connects. And now FN in trouble. Sending these eclipse. Trying to take him out if anything in return. Meanwhile, over here, the Tempest doubles picked off. But OD does eventually go down. Nice turn for Navi. Three for one. Only losing his drop here. And they're gonna, going to make it a four for one even. As Rubik is picked off too. Have to work, so. That is that is very nice. They're looking for Dendi here though. They're gonna go on him. Can they? Oh my god, he got silenced immediately. Out comes a Chrono Spear though. They need this skill, man. I, they're not gonna get it. It's just too much lockdown in return. Then the bait here. They're gonna turn on to Faceless Boy. The RP missed right there, unfortunately. Trying to catch the OD as he forced to have to wait, but he has to put himself on his end of these Eclipse. Not finishing anyone off just yet though. TA is getting low and TA finally will go down, but Juggernaut, he's still good to go. OD gonna be picked off the route. As the Magnetite's helping to take him down in the final auto attacks from Pycat. King R. He can't TP on in time. He gets cut down. And now it's Chappie's turn on that Arc Warden. The real one is lower. Pycat knows which one it is. And they commit to it and a complete wipeout in favor of Navi. So they lose Dendi. It doesn't matter though in the end. <laughs> They're trying to save the Destructor meanwhile. Uh, one more Hurricane Pike, a little more Int Farm, then that can hurt. Whoa, wow, really deep there. The Tempest double getting a kill. Chronosphere. Actually catches Earth Spear, not the greatest target. Here's that damage though of FN. Possibly could be the air committed now. Son of the Backlands on a TA from the Clockwork. He's making uh, him deal with uh, himself actually, but now he finds Gostic. And Gostic on that faceless cannot time walk oh, yeah. in time. Dendi's getting low. The Spark Wraith connects and Chappie's going back in. Auto attack on the uphill that will connect. Oh, and now man. the Aegis is popped here. And there's That's like a three second solid. window where he's not BKB yet. Ooh. The refraction is up. In Pike at though in the back lens. Omni Slash already been used. Just putting in the auto attacks himself. Takes out Faceless. Going for the kill on a Chappie. Dandy does plenty though. No, D gets picked off. And now Chappie himself. He's drilling. He has to run. TA trap though. Keeps him slow enough. And a double tap coming out for Pike at. They want to finish the job. The Ghost Scepter that will keep King R alive. For instant. And there's a tier three. Here's a hook shot in though. Chappie putting an auto attacks with the Tempest double. On a TA, but he gets away. Wow! Juggernaut! Oh, there we go. No cheese. He couldn't get it off in time. General out, landing the RP. But they melted Juggernaut before that. Now Templar stats are following up with the Static Storms doing so much work there with the Kinetic Field. They will take out Chappie. He is going to resurrect. Dendi's fairly low himself too. You have to be really careful about this. He'll meld on up. Hurricane Pike going in. It's a battle of the ages right there. But Chappie comes out on top with some supporting cast. And now, oof. It's this boy trying to chase. He has a Chronosphere. They are going to catch Fiverr. Really jump, and obviously he had plenty of support nearby. Again, RP is still ready for Magnus. He doesn't have the BKB, but not really a big deal. Buyback from Chappie. He's going in with a double. Spin, though, from Pycat aggressively. Tempest double. Doing some good damage. Chronosphere comes out. They catch it's Juggernaut TA. That's the prime one out there. Can they kill Juggernaut? TA goes down. Juggernaut's dead as well. Juggernaut does not have a buyback. TA would, but they also kill Disruptor. These Chronos. Empire is totally ready to fight. They have everything they need. RP is ready. It's a chance for Navi to maybe get a good catch here. There we go. They landed RP. Static Storm on top of the damage. It's so lacking. It's an overall. ag static. Magnus is dead. Oh, you're right. The Axe Effect kick it in. The Caustic will melt, actually. Oh, D does stay alive. Seneko, he is going to get caught. He will fall. Sanity's Eclipse. They also catch Disruptor. Barely he's scythed up, but he's going to be able to pop the Shrine and survive. You know what? If TA buys back there as that goes in, that's a complete wipeout for Navi. But yeah, they're so comfortable with where they're at in this game, though. They don't, they'd rather lose them. And Pycat's going in aggressively, so they're gonna force a, you know, a early response here. Again, Mega Creeps would spawn. Go both that bubble, man. <laughs> it's causing issue. Here comes another one. Has to get inside. BKB's pop. They're going for the Megas. This is him. And Poshka runs in. Hook shots in even, but he doesn't even care this Pycat. He's still going for the racks. Meanwhile, RP catches OD after the side, but the Code of Fear in return catches TA. The damage follow-up is not really here, though. Chappie, he's still far back. He's trying to kill Pycat during all of this. The Static Storm That's is mega. put down. OD's in trouble. The Mega Creeps have now spawned Gostic. Time walks for going into Juggernaut and allowing Chappie to do some damage. The Scythe comes out, but down goes Juggernaut, but the Aegis is going to resurrect. And now Chappie has to get away with that Shadow Blade of his. Yules 
Throws Rubik in the air. He has a shockwave, nothing else. Not where the biggest ability to steal for Rubik. Chappie from a distance, just standing his ground. With the right clicks up him and the Tempest Devil. He has the last ditch effort. It's not going to be enough, though. GDs are, in fact, called. Yeah, it still does a good damage back here, but yeah, it's just too much to handle. Mega Creep spawned. That's going to be game one victory for Navi. Gonna go Quaff, okay. Gossip was in trouble. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Trying to use the Treants of Infinity to protect him, and it's not going to happen. Viber, credit for the kill. As the first blood comes out, had earlier on. Tree's gonna scout out Dendi here. So they are coming wow. in, looking to make a play up, and we'll get the catch, but the blink. He's fine. They're really going for this, though. Han even comes out. However, Seneco, nice boulder smash done. But here comes the porting now from Gostic. They're really committed for uh, Dendi once again. The supernova in the back line is gonna be going off, though, and they will catch the Earth Spirit. But Dendi TPs away as bottom lane Maposhka. Running around those Trinkle boots, boots the 509 move speed. Gonna open here on Magnus. Viper's nearby though. Now comes the ulti from Phoenix and not even needed. Has that with the overgrowth more than enough damage in the end. There's the RP on Star Spirit. They want this kill. The silence right after. It is enough. He denies himself, in fact. But now here comes Chappie. Wants a response. Also with NP pointing on the back lines, but Dendi, he's still feeling like good. He has the Aegis, remember. The stun, the silence out from the Earth Spirit, gets the kill on the NP. And just like that, four heroes are dead. Deal with that. Ooh, Trian. He's walking right into a trap right here, and they're committing now. Storm Spirit goes on the back lines. Magnetize comes out. The Phoenix Egg is up as well. They're not focusing it. Then it looks said. like a Mago off right here. Tree goes down as well as the Earth Spirit, but the A goes off. They get the kill on a Quap as well. And now they're chasing after Pie Cat. Okay, it is up. General's here. RP's ready. He's gonna at least catch Phoenix. Shockwave to finish him off. And now Pycat's going back in. That that Shadow Dance regen kicking in. Working out with Dendi and he's gonna Silver Edge in. You know he's probably doing this. They're gonna see him initially, but can they really respond to it? A Shadow Dance gonna be popped pretty early in the back lines. The Sonic Wave goes off really on the cup and Poshka though. He is silenced up, cannot get the overgrowth off just yet. Finally gets it off Dark Pack, takes it off them immediately. Earth Spirit picked up, but they also get Pycat killed and the gem drop on top of that. All they got was Phoenix on Navi's side. And you've gotten more than enough out of this. FN is in Radiance. trouble. They are going to open. Silence comes out. Pops the BKB. He's going to go back in, actually, with the stun on the Phoenix as soon as he went in. He goes down. And now FN's going to buy himself somewhat. He's flying in the background, looking to deal with Denny back here. He had some support in the back lines, but the RP in return. They get the Aegis use off the bat. And they will also take out Spectre, who's staying dead, by the way. The Ice Path will catch Star Spirit, and he's going to die right after the fact. Gotta try something here, and they're definitely set up much better this time. Star Spirit in the flank. There's only like 20 seconds on Aegis. King R, uh oh. He's gonna be scouting out here. FN flies in, catches General actually right off the bat. Yule's throwing in the air. One of the illusions that looks like no Chappie did jump in. He goes elsewhere with the haunt though. General staying alive though. He still has the RP. Out comes that overgrowth lockdown Earth Spirit, it seems like. He's gonna go down. Jakira also picked off. The rest are retreating Pi Cat. He's gonna be caught. He's going to be displayed stun on the Spectre. And there's the RP from General. Come up. Dendi with the Sonic Wave on top. And the radio, the dire side that it is melting away. Spectre, the last target, the last hit against Pi Cat. He gets the kill, but he dies shortly after himself. Dendi, the raid boss, is still here looking to finish the job on Phoenix. And will do just that. Maposhka barely alive. Buybacks not being used on either side, but something tells me they may happen here. Pi Cat. I'm pretty aggressive right there. Lincoln's pop. Max, about half life currently. Tree army though is gonna push them off. Dendi, standing his ground though. He's not really too worried. He has that blood thorn again. The Aegis, so if they do happen to lock him down and use too much, they're gonna be just fine. So he's just gonna sit here. They come at me. They finally start to in the backline. Storm Spirit going in. Dendi though, the Lotus Orb applied to Neko. He's staying alive. They get the kind of locked down on a Storm Spirit. In comes the egg from Phoenix, but that's going to be killed off by Pycat. Pretty quick with the RP to lock down too. That was the second RP coming out, by the way. Tree goes down. And now Chappie, feet falls. He's staying in, remember. He barely makes his way to the base, but it's just too much chase. And they're going to finish the job. Down goes Chappie. And that should be it in favor of Navi. Three dead, no buybacks. And they're going for the finish, and it will be the finish. GT well play. 2 nothing seriously now for Navi here in this best of five. And to be fair, while it's a good matchup into Shadow Fiend, it's not. Like... And Seneco, double damage right here. Double Trian's going to pick it up instead. Oh, they can absolutely. Oh, the, the timing of the shrine, though. There's a lift. Now, they're going to open, but port's coming in. You need to get out of there if you're Seneco. Yeah, he's not. There's he's no in trouble now. Well, you're committed. committed. And he's going to die as a result. And that's a first blood for Empire. And now they want Rubik, actually. Earth Spirit, no really follow-up with that barrel roll. 
Breathe the Orb of Venom. Keeping him nearby, Gostic. Does not have the battery assault still up though, and they're still gonna run here. Oh, the Fortune Zang comes out. Oh, look, massive distance there. And yeah, that was beautiful. There's the FN using that Hannah Midas once again. Meanwhile, over here, Oracle's being run down. And that Fate's Edict right there, and the False Promise on himself. He needs to heal up right now, and looks like he is going to be able to successfully Shadow Fiend boxing out. Rubik gets the turn kill with the raise, and this PA is so committed now. I mean, this is all five Pyrrhals here. He is definitely dead. Maybe gets a coup de grace proc. Actually pops his magic stick right there. He still wants to scope with the Fate's Edict again, preventing him, disarming him. It prevents a little bit of damage there. We'll see if Gostik has the Mopushka blood in him. All right, I like this. Sineko's yeah. paying attention. He's blocking yes. this. Look at this. They're going to go on him, though. In the back lines, they do kill Roshan. Aegis is picked up by Pycat. Does he go after Slark? He does not. Instead, he's going to go after Clark. Uh, Clark, that is. And should be enough damage to finish the jump. Really the most scary. Another TP in for Phantom Assassin. Oh, they're going to catch lead on the back line, so that'd be a big kill to start this off. But Clockwork doesn't get the follow-up with it. PA kind of zoning them out. Goes right on the King R on that Oracle. Fates Edict will disarmed right there. But PA is still going to be chasing Lakuta Blade. Not enough initially. Requiem of Souls goes off from a distance. False promise. Going to save Oracle in the meantime. As the LSA stun, though, hits Sark, but the Dark Pack pops it out. But now he's to go for the Shadow Dance. Down goes the Oracle right there. And now Sark, he's trying to TP out in time. Nice Blur Smash to guarantee the get out. How long, so though? I mean, if you're Empire, you're just not ready to fight. You you absolutely are lacking them. You, Slark doesn't even have anything past the Shadow Blade, and Navi's now beating down at the door of your base. Still another race right there. Oh, they jump on the Shadow Fiend by the False Promise. That comes out very quickly to save the Shadow Fiend. He's going right in. Pops the Requiem in the midst of the fight. If anything, decreasing their damage output. Darkstar goes down, but Shadow Fiend nearly drops off the False Promise runs off. He is going to fall. No buyback to be had. Pycat, though, he'll go down, but he has the Aegis. We're gonna right back up. Rubik, what is he have still in? Currently still a raise, assisting with some damage right here. But Lena from a distance. Up. Gonna go in onto a Lena, kind of, but the Laguna Blade takes out Clockwork pretty quickly and he's finished off the tier three tower now. Rubik, he steals that Fortune 10 once again and he's gonna use it to purge off the Magnetize. FN, he wants to go in. They want to take advantage right here. The vacuum, though, in return. The cogs are up. Blocking the man. Denny's getting low. And he will sacrifice himself in the midst of it. General, though, also low. He has it going down. Phantom Strike away. And they're still going. And, and to be fair, Empire, yeah, they continue to be just trapped in their base here. Requiem's up in 30 seconds. The fact that he's used two Requiem's throughout this. There's a oh. vacuum wall combo. Catches a couple. And Air Spirit will fall. Clockwork, the reaction on the Denny, but it's just so late. He gets lifted up and pushed backwards right there. Rubik currently has a Fortune's End still, and he's already used it, though. Oracle's picked off as well. The respawn time will bring him out quickly. Chappie just trying to land some raises. But again, his right clicks aren't really the most threatening right now. Dendi looks good to blade, but the coup de grace Prox comes out. Pycat credit for the kill. Triple kill for Dendi. And that's probably the beginning of the end right here in favor of Navi. You don't expect him to throw in the talent necessarily, but... Gonna sneak in, find the jump. That thing is running right on in. They jump PA, actually, and they're gonna drop him quickly. So that's a very good start. The vacuum, but no wall follow up. General falling back. Requiem goes off, Denny. He'll pick up her spirit, but he needs to run out. And Oracle is already ready to go. So they are gonna have five. Not a magnetize, nor a hookshot currently. Up in five seconds. Vacuum. No wall just yet. LSA comes out as well. PKB Papa Shadow Fiend got stunned initially by the Overgrowth, but now he gets his combo off to take out Darks here. And Phantom Assassin went a little bit too deep once again. The 8 is also counter Requiem, by the way, from Rubik going off in the back lines. And that's going to slow down Shadow Fiend. The False Promise saving him for now, but he probably is going to die once that wears off, unless the heals come out from Oracle quickly. Phantom Assassin, he is almost dead right here once again. And yes, they do kill Shadow Fiend. FN, he's down at bad spot. GG's are being caught. It's going to be official. Navi going to take the grand finals 3 0. And they're going to Los Angeles, baby, for the Summit I mean, 7 main event. We are really starting to see a tier list develop in CIS Dota.